Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just after 11 o'clock in Honolulu, 4 o'clock in New York on Monday, the 26th day of January 2014. And this is a, the daily report for gold and silver. After such a dramatic week last week in which we saw a surge and a surge above $1,300 per ounce in gold, we see that was to be short-lived as we have a fairly dramatic sell-off in the market in precious metals, gold, silver, and platinum, palladium trading a little bit higher on the day. Gold is currently off about $13 to $14 on the day, $12.8009. That's our current uh print that you see on the screen the low on the day has been 1276.20 just above our stop we'll talk about that in a bit throughout the show and the high uh, 1294.90 silver also trading dramatically lower actually off about two and a quarter percent 2.24 down about 40 cents 1788 the low 84 so it's just about near the low the high 1832 we currently have our stop at 1762 as i said um so we are about 20 cents away from um the uh, actual stop and low itself we'll touch on silver a little bit more at the end of the show so traders first to gold in our gold trade we are still in our gold trade we are long of course at 17 and a half that's right in here here's our entry point here market comes up we keep continue to trail our stops this is our current stop placement which is just below uh 1274 i think i have this particular line at 1273 and change you can see that we did hit a low that came close to uh, but didn't really go into this particular area but most importantly, it does seem as though, at least on a tentative basis, that we have hit our first potential top. Now, I did actually expect to get stopped out last night. When I woke up this morning and looked at the range, the highs and lows, I was actually quite surprised that that stop held. Some subscribers might be asking why when we predicted or projected a top between 13 and 13.12 and then the market hit that 13.08 that we didn't get out at that point and and the key to that answer is that we don't have a crystal ball in other words I I, I don't know just because we make a projection uh, that a market's going to go to a certain place we don't really know what's going to happen one day to the next we use our best tools to forecast what we think it might do and because of that uh, what I tend to do is trail stops up and to position ourselves. So, for example, if this market does find some support in this area and move back up, we're still in it. But what I'm more looking to do at this point is if we have this defined top, we've got a pretty large range uh, in which we have seen this market really move from 1130 up to 1308. And now what we want to do is to plot various resistance points be it um, 23%, 38%, 50%, and so on, so that if the market does continue under pressure, we can look at logical spots at which this market might go to. In other words, market isn't going to move straight up even in a bullish rally. That is to be expected, and we are going to have peaks and valleys. And so we just want to position ourselves accordingly really interesting day across the board in some of the other markets of course we had um the greek vote came out which sent all of the markets overseas into a tizzy we're looking at our dollar index and on our weekly chart of course is being monday so one day but we do have a red candle we do have a little bit of a sell-off in the dollar index Crude oil continues its dramatic slide, now closer to 45 than it is to 50, well below these two hash marks that I determined as a really critical area because if it cannot hold this particular price point right in here, my sense is we could see uh, dramatically lower pricing in oil and on a technical basis, we really don't get any support until about 30 two to forty dollars a barrel considerably lower than where we're at right now traders interesting day in the equities markets with the dow jones industrial average a closing lower on the day but the standard pours standard and pours 500 excuse me a closing slightly higher you can see this on this half a day 
candle 720 minutes first part of the session is lower it recovers in the second part and you've got a green candle in the second part in other words it did uh, move back up to clo close slightly positive on the day traders we're taking a look at a weekly chart in gold this gold this chart really highlights our long-standing resistance line this was the key to entering the market from the long side we can see now this small red candle beginning to appear that's this week's trading of course with this dramatic down day uh trading off you know 10 12 14 dollars on the day long-term chart damage no um but at the same time what we do want to look at is if in fact this is the end of this first leg of a rally so to speak and we're going to go into some kind of corrective period to be able to chart where the market might go to and to do that we're going to look at some shorter term charts so traders i've done just that this is a 230 minute chart short term chart but what is important about this chart is where we have our fib retracement drawn from the fib retracement itself is coming in from 1305 this top here down to the most recent low at 1130 when we do that we see some pretty critical areas 1264 would be a 23 percent retracement and 1239 would be a 38 percent retracement so what we want to do is now that we look at that particular area we can absolutely see the 38 percent retracement 39 is as holding a pretty critical area you can see the resistance here it's resistance here right before it pops through we can also see as this market came down it attempted to move back up uh, not really a lot of information towards this center uh, move in which we had that high I believe the high at around 54 if I am correct but the areas that we do want to look at where could this market go if in fact it begins to come under pressure 1264 1239 those would be the two points i would look for if we see some pressure enter into the market and this market begin to really uh, go to lower pricing in other words not recoup in this area silver has been just a strong wild card lately we're looking at our daily chart and in the same way that i've looked at gold we're looking at silver we'll go ahead and chart uh different retracements on tomorrow's show but for right now I think that the key is is that it really has hit the marks that we were looking for uh, when it hit 18 and this is that key area right now and we are tracking right at that area and just below 1788 but this being a pretty critical area on a technical basis when you look at price activity uh, historically speaking that we saw throughout 2013 and 14 and how it reacted at this point so it was very very supportive in this area right now I believe that a move below it will make it resistance but if we can find some sort of support to move it back up above this line that would be a bullish or a positive factor for gold this has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading talk to you tomorrow on Tuesday for another daily update review bye-bye